Hi, welcome to Keyboard Corner, or my Keyboard Corner anyway. Uh, today I've got the um, VRO9, um, Roland VRO9 hooked up to an iPad, uh, running three apps, um, the Hammond B3X, which you see on screen at the minute. Um, I've also got uh, Cork Module and KeyStage. Now KeyStage is a master instrument controller and is key to what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, the good news is that um, you can now use the uh, certainly the draw bars on the VRO9 and I'm sure a lot of the other hard control knobs etc to control um, iPad apps and in particular the Hammond B3X which is what I'm particularly interested in controlling and um, I'm going to prove it to you by showing how the draw bars move um, so um, the moment they're all pushed in as you see but here I am on the um, you can see the sound building now and you can see the drawbar moving there as I move the drawbar with my finger now the last one doesn't work the reason it doesn't work is I haven't programmed in the translation for that yet. Now, for each um, each drawbar, you need to program in two translators, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, let's show how how we do this. Um, going into key stage now. Right, this is key stage, and I'm at. Uh, um, got MIDI connections highlighted here, and you can see there's a. Um, uh, an alias on the screen down there of when it focuses of uh, why won't it focus why won't it focus yeah vro9 to b3x right so i'm going to he edit he hit edit on that to edit the thing now see now all these translators are shown um in this box here um there's 16 of them at the moment um scrolling down to the bottom and the last one as you can see is 8-2. Now I'm going to create the pair of upper, upper drawbar 9-1 and upper drawbar 9-2. So I hit uh, the plus sign next to translators like so. Add new custom translator and right at the bottom um, there it is. It's blank at the moment. It just says custom translator. Now Against input, I'm going to go into the box there and choose Sisex. And when I do that, this big box pops up and I then hit auto detect and then move the, um, the drawbar, uh, drawbar number nine. And when I do that, watch what happens. Now there's the full address of the drawbar and eventually I get a double X, which is the byte that transfers the information, basically. Once that appears, I hit OK. Uh, right, now um, I now need an output on this translator, and I'm going to put an output of CC10. Now, CC10 won't actually do anything. It'll act as a sort of transfer pot, if you like, to transfer the um, the information uh, from this translator to the next translator. Um, so I now need to save the current state of that. And I'm going to save that as upper drawbar. nine hyphen one and create it there we are so that's that one created now I need another one my uh, nine two so hit the plus sign next to translators again add a new custom translator and I got a blank one at the bottom uh, now I go into input on that and this time I hit um, control change 10 so that's picking up the information that's output on the previous translator, if you like, and the output on that will be uh, CC20, which is uh, the CC that controls the um, drawbar number nine on the Hammond, uh, the B3X. Um, now I hit advanced, 
And then, this is the important thing, I need to apply this translator to a range of 0 to 8. Uh, so I move that down there. Uh, double click on that, move it to 8. And uh, then save the current state of that as upper draw bar. Nine two and create it, and there it is. There, yeah. This um, the it, the information from the drawbar on the VRO nine um, comes out as naught to eight and needs to be scaled to a one to twenty seven um, to work on um, on the Hammond and I think any other iPad apps, um, and that is what this applying translator to the range does. Um, so you have to go through this two-stage process to do it with, um, I mean, I just chose Control Change 10 because I didn't think it was doing anything anywhere else, really. Um, and now, uh, if I hit Done on that, um, we should have Control on the, um, let's go back to the, uh, the Hammer B3X, pop it down below here, and uh, see if we've now got Control. So there we are. Um, I'm sure if we can do this with the draw bars, uh, we can do it with a lot of other controllers on the um, on the VR09. So I'm going to be working my way through that now. But uh, I just thought I'd give you a heads up that um, uh, I know a lot of people have scratched their heads on how to do this if it was possible, etc. But uh, using KeyStage, which is um, an app under twenty dollars, I think um, you can do that and a whole lot more. Cheers. Bye.